Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make the beef uh, back ribs. So let me give you the ingredients. So for our baby back ribs, this is the beef. So you can always use the pork. But I haven't seen this in the store for a while. I'm like, okay, I'll take this one. So I'm gonna season it like if I was gonna do a New York or rewind. So we're gonna use the dry seasoning, dry herbs, this one. And also I'm gonna add mustard seeds, some uh, ground mustard, Worcestershire sauce, the zest of the orange, garlic, the zest of the lemon, and uh, thyme and rosemary, and also some of the red onion. And just a little black pepper and olive oil. So I'm gonna come back and show you next time. I chop off my herbs with the stems and everything. And then we're gonna put them on the, you know, in the cross. But first I'm gonna grab my oil and show you next step. All right, so for a rib, you're gonna season it. You're gonna put all your seasoning first. So you're gonna do the mustard seeds. Okay, it's gonna be all around, both sides. Same way, but we're gonna do one side, so only. So, a nice massage all around. Okay. And also we're gonna use some of the Grand Master. Okay. This side not much because it's gonna be the fatty side. So we need this side to be the most, you know, with all the aromas and everything. Then you go, you're gonna chop your fresh herbs, same thing, like this. a little bit in the back. And also onion. And I put some of the garlic with the skin on and everything. So that one we're gonna let it marinate here. And since we're gonna discard it, you know it's just for flavor. And then we're gonna add truffle oil. So that way it's gonna marinate and absorb all the flavors from the truffle. Worcestershire sauce. And remember, um, this side, we don't need it much. So this is where all the flavor is. So over here, then the zest of the orange. And the lemon or the lime. You can do either or. And then tomorrow we're gonna marinate it with the red wine, the juice of the orange, and we're gonna put them in the oven for two hours at 500. And then we're gonna check it. So in the meantime, you're gonna let it rest, let it marinate with the dry rock. Okay, and just finish with this. And tomorrow we'll do the final cooking. So you have your uh, ribs already dry. Now you're gonna put them in the tray. So what I did, I put some uh, celery, carrots, onions over here. And then you're gonna add about one cup of uh, red wine <coughs> and water. And also you're gonna put your uh, herbs, rosemary, thyme, sage, bay leaves, and some peppercorn. Okay, so white wine. I mean red wine, sorry. <clears throat> but you can use a uh, white wine if you like. So one cup of uh, white wine and water. <clears throat> At the red wine, you're gonna put about one cup of red wine, okay? Right here. And also water, about a little and a half. Or just cover it halfway, right? And also I'm gonna add some uh, kos uh, kosher salt. And then we're gonna wrap it in foil in plastics and then we're gonna put it in the oven. <clears throat> and now you're gonna cover it with this uh, plastic film. This is a kitchen uh, heavy duty plastic film, okay? So this one is not going to melt at all because it's not direct to the heat, okay? So it's gonna be covered with plastic, I mean with a uh, foil. But you see, 
that it's not gonna melt at all. <clears throat> and then you're gonna put your foil, two sheets of foil. <clears throat> and then we're gonna put them in the oven, okay? So I'm gonna come back and show you the next step. Like I said, you know, you can cook it in a high heat or low heat. So we're gonna do the low heat, so 265 for four hours. We're gonna check them in two hours, okay? And then I'll show you the final results. We're gonna take out the beef ribs. So just be careful when you take them out. Okay. And I'm gonna show you. When I unwrap them, okay. We're, we're gonna unwrap them. So just be careful when you take it off. Watch. See? Nice. So now, just be careful. See? Pull into the side. Right? We're gonna take them out and let it rest, okay? And then in the meantime, we're gonna make the salsa up here. This. Okay, this is, now we're gonna take out the stock, the juice, the three pins, and we're gonna make the salsa of it. Okay, now we're gonna take our, our ribs, uh, the pork ribs, and then I'm gonna show you the final results. Take them out, and then we're gonna let them rest, okay? We're gonna cut them. You go with the bone right here to the back. Okay, so that way you have your ribs, and then you can plate it however you want. Look at this. Oof. So hopefully you guys like this video, how to prepare these ribs. You can finish it with the juice on top, any vegetables, any side dish you like. So hopefully you guys like it, enjoy it, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.